Japan. I honestly can't believe that one year ago I had the dream of coming to Japan and I did it. Usually when people know that, I get the same response across the board. Why? Well, why not? This is the best time to uproot in my entire life and move to a foreign country. It's been a dream of mine for several years now to not just simply visit Japan. No, I wanted to live in Japan. I wanted to work in Japan. I wanted to breathe the air in Japan. I wanted to be in Japan and truly experience Japan. While studying Japanese language in college, I found out about the JET program. That was it. The JET program was my end. It was how I was going to make my dream a reality. So what is the JET program? The JET program stands for Japanese Exchange and Teaching Program. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a teaching exchange program where I teach English to Japanese students. I worked so hard and did so much research. And uh, here I am. Now I am placed in the Fukui Prefecture which is on the west coast of Japan, around central Japan-ish, and it's directly on the opposite coast of Tokyo. Tokyo's over here on the east coast, and Fukui Prefecture is on the other side of the coast. Fukui Prefecture was actually my first choice. I chose Fukui Prefecture because it is on the coast and it is not necessarily a popular prefecture or place in Japan and I didn't want to be in a popular place in Japan. I wanted to experience a different part of Japan that not a lot of people know about. Fukui Prefecture is actually number one in English education in the entire country of Japan. Uh, it is leading English education throughout Japan and it is usually the first to implement new ideas in English and different per and new programs. So that's really exciting to be in a prefecture that takes English really seriously. It is number one in athletics, it is number one in English, as I mentioned, and it's number two in academics overall. So Fukui Prefecture is killing it. The Fukui Prefecture is most known throughout Japan for having the th world's third largest concentration of dinosaur fossils. So Fukui Prefecture takes their dinosaurs seriously. There's dinosaurs everywhere. The mascot from the Fukui Prefecture is a dinosaur and his name is Happy Bit and he's adorable. They are actually ha also have the third best dinosaur museum in the world. That's just my prefecture. The town that I'm placed in is a tiny little town called Mikini. It's right on the coast of the Sea of Japan and is literally the northernmost town in Fukui Prefecture. <laughs> like maybe a 20 minute drive away from the next prefecture above us, which is called the Ishikawa Prefecture. That ha They have a Costco. Uh, my town is a little beach, it is a beach town. It is right on the water. I'm about 20 minute walk from the actual coastline of the Sea of Japan. So it's not too far off from what I'm used to being from Florida. Not only is my apartment about a 20 minute walk from the beach, but I'm also 15 minute drive away from the famous Tojin Bowl Cliffs, which is known all throughout Japan. It's really amazing cliffside. They're so beautiful. This is what they look like. Makuni is great. <laughs> um, I recently just had my first festival here in Japan. It was the Mikuni Firework Festival. Yeah, they are known for doing these really cool fireworks over the water. So half of the firework is in the sky and half of it's reflecting in the water. It's really cool. I'll show some pictures over here of what, it looks, what that looks like. Everything in my town is walking distance. A one minute walk from the nearest grocery store. I'm a five minute walk from the shopping mall. I am a two minute walk from two different hospitals and I'm about a five to ten minute walk from literally everything I could possibly need. It is amazing. So even though my town is small, and it is small, I have everything I need. It's like a little mini city but without the city. So I'm working at a junior high and I've already had the pleasure to come into work a few days and meet all the English teachers and my supervisor. Everyone has been so welcoming and everyone's, all the English teachers speak really good English which makes me feel better <laughs> because my Japanese is so so so. Nihongo ga skoshi wakarimasu. I understand a little Japanese. It's a struggle. But 
being exposed to all of this Japanese, I feel has already started to improve my speaking ability, my writing ability, my definitely my reading ability. Grocery shopping is an adventure in Japanese. <laughs> Overall, I absolutely love living in Japan and I'm super excited to be living here and fulfilling my dreams and especially being so lucky to be in such an awesome prefecture and an awesome town. I decided to do a little bit of a video type diary to help keep family and friends posted about little adventures that are going on while I'm in Japan. Hopefully I'll be posting more soon about upcoming adventures. Thanks for watching!